you might have switched from a plant-based diet to a meat-based diet because you heard that um, that was the thing to do because of all these reasons that you know some of these um, so-called authorities um, have shifted their uh, perspective on plant-based diet after doing it for so long and touting the virtues of it. Um, and so you get on the bandwagon and you're like, well, it hasn't actually been working for me, the plant-based diet. Again, because not because it, it's, it, it's just because the way you were executing it was misguided if it wasn't working for you, that's why. Um, but then, you know, to, 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 to flip the switch and go, the, uh, uh, um, um, go in the opposite direction is also going to be misguided. Um, but you might have a kind of uh, beginner's luck, a kind of um, a positive experience at first because the body's getting a relief from what wasn't working. And, and in, the, in the context of a meat-based diet, you're going to have a very low water content, very contractive kind of food going into you, whereas the plant-based diet was very expansive. So don't take it for granted that just because that meat-based diet made you suddenly feel so much leaner and, um, and more energized temporarily, that that's going to be the case over the long term. It won't over the long term. Over the long term, you're taking in the, the vibration of death. You're going to be um, basically a, a vessel for pathogens. You will be taking in more and more rot dead animal flesh, is, it, it rots. That's what happens. And in 98.6 degrees, the human body is the Arizona desert. It's, it's going to cause that waste matter to sit there and rot and become so noxious. And, um, and it, 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 because it's so acidic and because the tissue, the human tissue is alkaline, it's going to magnetize into the tissue as it dehydrates. That's why there's such a huge um, accumulation in the body after even just a decade of consuming these unfit foods, of consuming acidic foods. It doesn't matter if they're acidic because they're um, cow's milk or because they're animal flesh or because they're white flour and sugar, um, candy corns and M&Ms. It's all the same. It's acidic waste and it's going to stick in the tissue and make it impossible for your tissue to flow and breathe, which is what it's dying to do. It's like, it's like if you can imagine if you were a cell in a body that was consuming these things, you would be suffocated and then you would just be there and stuck and immobilized and unable to regenerate, unable to do your thing. So let your cells do their thing. Listen closely, listen to how your body's communicating to you, pay attention to the signals. There is a book of life. And you know, people will say, oh, well, you know, here we are as humans, but you know, no one ever gave us a, a, a blueprint for living or nobody ever gave us a textbook for life. That's nonsense. Of course you have a textbook for life. Just look around you, nature's your textbook. The reactions, the cause and effect, it's everywhere. You just have to pay attention. And when you, when you embrace that and you, and you learn the language, you become fluent, um, you, um, you become literate in this language, then you can read the Book of Life and it can all make sense and you will be liberated. You won't have to look toward so-called authorities. You'll become your own master. And that's, that's that where your sovereignty lies, which is actually where your true freedom lies. So that's, that's, that's the best direction I can give you and I hope it serves you well. All the best, lots of love. Bye for now.